What exactly goes on on the sun's surface? That's what this spacecraft is trying to find out. And for that, it needed to get real close. Actually, last night, about 11.50 p.m. Eastern Time, um, we got back a green beacon from the Parker Solar Probe spacecraft, indicating that it successfully completed humanity's closest approach to a star, closest ever flyby uh, to the sun. And, and really just an amazing achievement. We were able to actually fly through the upper atmosphere, the corona of the sun, which is just an amazing thing if you think about it. Two, one, it took zero. the capsule six years to travel within six million kilometers of the sun, a long and challenging journey. Right, Parker Solar Probe has, has actually flown through coronal mass ejections and, and other things that come off of the sun, which is just amazing to see. It's like, I don't know, flying through a storm, right? We, we actually have seen and witnessed and been in the middle of one of these things as it comes off of the sun. The one-of-a-kind probe has been using Venus's gravity to get closer and closer. The successful flyby should now allow scientists to trace the origin of solar winds, a stream of particles that come off the star's outer atmosphere and give us a better idea of how material on the surface is heated to millions of degrees. It'll start sending detailed data next week, built to last, against heat and radiation. The probe could, however, deliver even more results as it completes its journey under the sun. Ibtisem Genford, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.